Yeah, you could sum it up that way. A bad day at the office. Uh, has been for the past uh, couple of weeks, really. Um, yeah, it's, I feel like a bit of a broken record here in these last couple of weeks, saying the same things, you know, disappointed. Um, you know, I thought there were some, some positive signs in the game, you know, first 25 minutes. I felt, you know, some of our ruck defence was a lot better. You know, it was an area that we identified after the loss at Whitehaven last week that we had to improve, and I felt at times we, we, um, we showed improved signs in that area right, with our ruck defence. Um, but again, just lapses in concentration, you know, we, we can see it, I think, Two or, two or three tries off kicks, and um, which was again lack of urgency to, to escort and get back, and um, you know put any pressure on the kicker. And uh, again, th I think the three tries were scored if I'm right with uh, dummy half just diving over close to the line. And again, we identified all this through the week. You know, highlighted that the two hookers that they have love to have a crack near the line, and you've got to be honest and you've got to be alert. And to concede three soft tries like that again is just again it's nothing much short of disappointing. And um, you know, again, people just clocking off. But the big killer for me is our discipline at the moment. You know, we conceded 15 penalties last week at Whitehaven, and and uh, the same again has happened again today. You know, and as much as you know, we did some really good stuff. I thought in the first half where we made some really good meters with our, our yardage sets. We kicked well, we kicked chase, and then play two, play three. We give a penalty because people either were, were offside or um, you know took someone's head off or something along those lines. It just you know. It's just not good enough, and we can't. I can't keep having people saying "sorry, boys, sorry, boys." It's not good enough, you know what I mean? And we've got to sort it out because it just makes we make hard work of it, you know what I mean? If we we need to be better, and when I talk about being disciplined, it's it's also about being disciplined with what we're doing with the ball. And you know, I felt at times, you know, certainly, well, certainly in the second half, we just went totally away from what I asked of them at half time in terms of the game plan. And um, I thought first half we we had some joy when we executed the plan, but um, we still didn't do it consistently enough. And then second half, uh, we just didn't execute the plan at all, and it, it frustrates me. So at one point, you said you mentioned some positives. Uh, there's a bit of a glimpse of the, club, the club's future in, in the two lads who came on. And you, you must have been, I'm actually pretty pleased with them. Yeah, the three under 19s boys, and I gave them a wrap in the sheds after the game. Um, I thought the three under 19s kids, Ben Pointer, the hooker, Ben Gray, and, and Sid Adebayi, the, the two props, I thought were, were great. You know, I thought they didn't look out of place. They did what I asked of them in terms of they brought some energy, some enthusiasm, and and if I'm honest with you, they they, they gave us something out there. They really added to the added some value to the team today. Um, you know, and, and we should be you know we should be sitting here praising them, obviously. But at the end of the day, when them three are giving you more than other certain first team players in there, then it's you know we're in a tough place at the moment. And I'm I'm not sure whether the answers are there in the, the blokes that were sitting in the stands today either, because they're there for a reason. And um, yeah, I'm not. I said it to them in the sheds after the game. I'm not convinced that that the answers are there either. Um, you know, and for me this week, it's a, it's going to be about the 17 that train best on the trainer field will, will be selected uh, in the game moving forward. Um, I think it's. I think to be honest, if I'm, if I'm going to be brutally honest, I think we are where we are, and it's a reflection of how the season has gone for us in terms of. We've had we've lacked any real continuity as a team or any stability as a team all year. You know I've gone through 42 players now. You know, and let's be honest, the majority of this team for most of the season has been an under 23s team um, because, like I said, I've had my senior players out for large parts of it. And there's no coincidence at the times that we we're probably playing our best football was when we had Tom Gilmore playing in the halves, who was settled and was our general, so to speak, who managed to get us around and. Uh, and obviously me as a senior head there in the middle and, and we still had Jamie Thackeray and Reese Lovegrove out there in the middle as well as senior heads and yeah so for me it's it's no coincidence that we are where we are. Um, it's still not an excuse though, I mean I'm still expecting and I'm challenging my players every week to, to improve performance and be better than what we are and look to be better each week and like I said at the start of the the uh, conversation today, you know, I felt we did take a step forward in terms of some of our ruck defence stuff, which I felt we worked hard on during the week to improve because we were pretty woeful with that last week at Whitehaven. Um, but again, there was just some other areas within our performance that we lacked any real effort and desire, and um, that's what frustrates me. You know, it alludes to what I was talking about just before there that we've lacked any real continuity or stability as a as a team and as a squad all year. You know, and, and like I said, we brought in players on dual reg and on loans earlier in the year to sort of paper over the cracks and and ease that pressure of long term injuries and people leaving the club. You know, because again, I, I was. I was reluctant to play too many of my youth because at that moment in time, or for most of the year, I've had to play kids anyway, and I don't want to have a full team of kids because it's again, it's too much pressure, especially earlier in the season when there was that pressure of trying to finish the top four, and I felt putting too much pressure on those young shoulders was was too much. And um, but like I said, that kind of pressure's off now. The fact that we're in this eights, and um, but again, I I still can't. 
as much as we've faced all this adversity as a yeah. club this year, I still can't accept poor performance and of people's course. lack of desire and attitude. And, and that's something I'm really asking of the players. And, you know, and if I'm being honest with you, I addressed the players after the game and, I, you know, I wasn't happy, um, and rightly so. And But I did say to them, look, you know, we've got four more games in this league competition until we hit the semi-finals. And the reality is if we get a good performance next week and we get another good performance a week after, we get another good performance a week after, you start to build some momentum yep. and you start to build some confidence going into that semi-final. And all of a sudden, this, this two weeks, which has been a pretty dark two weeks for us, it kind of it just gets forgotten, mm. you know what I mean? And we then focus on what we can potentially achieve, and we still can achieve something this year, um, you know. And and that's the reality. But it's going to take you know, not only the 17 guys that took the field today; it's going to take the rest of the squad that are still able to train with us at the moment on the field, the ones who aren't obviously lo uh, injured long term. Yeah, to be honest and have a look at themselves and, and reflect on what they're bringing in terms of their standards when they're at training and away from the away from the club, you know how they're preparing and. Do they want to achieve something with this team? You know, I've pretty much uh, notified every player that won't be with us next season, so they're aware of that. And um, you know, the good thing is, there's one or two of those guys who are still ripping in, having a dig, even though they're not going to be with us uh, next year, which is which is great to see. Will uh, it be announced which players are not being? With I will them? be announcing in due course, mate. But yeah, but not at this stage. But uh, they've all been notified because um, I'm one of those believers. That, you know, I think once you know, and as a coach, you know in your head and heart. You need to let those players know to give them the best opportunity to secure elsewhere with their futures. I know some coaches are different and would, would probably just wait to the end of the season because yeah. they're worried about losing those people in terms of, you know, will they lose them in terms of what they're going to give to, to, the, to the team and the club for the rest of the season. But I just always feel that's probably the best way to go, mate. Be honest and, yeah, they'll be disappointed, but they'll respect you for it in the long term. So, um, but yeah, mate, so it, it's just going to come down to this group of players now and what they want to try and achieve. I know there are some guys who are working hard and trying to do everything, but there's just there's not enough that are doing it for long enough periods and consistently enough. Um, that's the problem, and it's, it's evident on how we're performing. We've shown some good stuff, but we're just clocking off and ill-discipline and, and, and lack of respect at times, you know. Um, it's hurting us, uh, and that's the reality. Um, halfbacks hurt me too. I've got to be honest with you. The halves are hurting me a little bit too, in terms of what we're getting from them. Um, I'm needing those guys to really organise us and direct us, and I, I feel we're we're lacking is that. that. Why you moved James into scrum half? Yeah, today? well, Joe Keys, I don't think has been at his best the last couple of weeks, and uh, he's had a lot of areas that he, he needs to address. And uh, I spoke to him about that during the week, and uh, obviously. Uh, he played with the academy yesterday, so give him an opportunity to try and fix those things and get some confidence back. Um, so I moved Kano in there today. I mean, again, it's a little bit tough on Kano to put everything on him, so I put a little bit more pressure on Will Bartow to, to uh, be that general for it. Yeah. Um, and that's a, that comes back to that what I was talking about, urgency. urgency. We had a lack of urgency. We had lack of urgency at times out there defensively. Uh, we had lack of, like you said, um, consistency with you know, some of the things, the fact that we were just clocking off. Uh, again, discipline played a big part today, you know, conceding 15 penalties, you know, and that's what frustrated me, we'd, we'd have a good set, we'd kick, we'd kick chase, we'd win those first couple of plays, bang penalty because someone didn't get back on side, or bang penalty because we took someone's head off, or and we just march them down the field, you know, and um, it's just not good Getting enough. Getting caught offside of the scrum three times. Oh, it's just not good enough, Dave. We've still got, we've still got a lot of uh, hard work uh, to go uh, in terms of this season, we're going to, you know, we need some, some people that are really willing to dig deep, you know, because we are at a tough place at the moment, there's no, no doubt in that, um, and... You know, we just need some people to be honest. You know, they've got to get themselves up now for four more weeks, and then we've got an opportunity to play some finals football, and which is exciting. And and hopefully, you know, there might be an off chance we will get Jamie Thackeray back, we might get a Daniel Harrison back, we might get a Reese Love back, which again for me is fantastic and will give us a, a bit of a boost at the right time.